8.10 perimeter. The distance around a figure is its perimeter. So think of it like a fence. We're fencing the area in. So this example, the shape, and they labeled it. I know it's kind of hard to see on the screen. But what you have to do to find perimeter, you have all the outside edges, then you need to add it up. So one is 30 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 14 plus 24. Then add all this up. One hundred and seven. And they're saying that's meters, so it would be a hundred and seven meters. Down here, example B, find the perimeter of the rectangle. We know a rectangle has top and bottom are the same and the two sides are the same. So the length is 10. So I know the bottom will be 10. The width is 4. So I know the other side is 4 because it's a rectangle. Add it up. Twenty eight. This is feet. So here I drew some examples. This is a square with one all the way around. So I could add other ones up. There's four sides. Or since I know they are all the same, there's four of them. One times four equals four. Whichever makes most sense to you. If you find one like this, these are square units. So you're going to do the same thing. Count the outside. So let's see how many squares across it is. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. One, two, two. This is a rectangle, so I know the length is the same. But I'm going to count it just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. All right, now I can add them all up. Fourteen, and these are square units. And you can put SU for short. So another way you could write this equation, five times two plus Two times two. And I'll give you the same answer. Let's do a couple more. This triangle. 
So we have 28, 35, and 21. And it's centimeters. So 84 centimeters. Let's do number eight. It's a square. They are all 25. So I can go 25, 25, 25, 25. But I know there's four of them, so I'm going to do 25 times four. It is 100. It's yards. 